Let's talk about how comparison is the biggest killer of happiness. Hi my love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host Ruby Dull. I don't know why I said host but I say weird things all the time. <laughs> I am an author, writer, content creator. I also speak at various events about healing, heartbreak, moving on, love, relationships and so on. I am an author of four books of poetry, prose and self-help and I'm releasing my fifth one this year. So today I wanted to talk about a topic that is so, so close to my heart and it's something that every single one of us has been somehow influenced by and it's called comparison, okay? How many of you have compared your life to other people? How many of you have told yourself, oh, this person looks better than me. This person has a better house than me. This person has a better relationship. They have nicer hair. They have prettier eyes. They look like they're happier. They look like they're happier. So I was speaking to a friend about this a couple of days ago, I think last week or the week before, and we were just talking about life in general. And she said something to me that really, really hit me. It got to my feels, it got to my feels in such a way where I felt like I, I was plunged back years and years back into my life, back when I was a teenager, back when I was, you know, a child. And I'd ask myself the same questions and I'd say the same things to myself. And the particular conversation that we had, I'm going to actually read it out to you because I wrote a piece about it and I shared this piece on my Instagram page and so many of you could relate to this. So many of you said to me, Ruby, you know, you've written exactly how I feel. You've written exactly what I was thinking. And this is the piece, okay? And I've shared this on my Instagram page, which will be on the screen. And I'm gonna read it for you now. I was speaking to a friend the other day who said something that stuck with me. Why do other people have it so easy? She said, it seems like no matter how hard my pain is, it always falls short in comparison to their happiness. And I thought about this a lot. Growing up, I'd seen more than enough pain, struggle and tears. And I can't deny that I didn't ask myself the same question more than once. It seemed like I'd received everyone's share of pain while they got more happiness than I could have ever expected. They always looked like they were having a much better time than I was with their family, friends and personal life. Everything worked out for them fine while those very things had fallen apart more than once in my life. And truthfully, I can't tell you how I dealt with it at the time. Because when you're walking through life, your pain hits the deepest. Your pain hits the deepest. That's incredible. Okay, so when I heard her say this, it just took me back to a time in my life where all I ever did was compare myself to other people. I was so depressed, I was so miserable in my life that everyone else looked like they were having a much better time than I was. Everyone else looked like they were happier with their family, their friends, you know, they had two parents, they had siblings. What do they have to worry about? You know, what kind of concerns would they have? Whereas my concerns were so much worse. My, you know, pain was so much worse. Everything that I went through was so much more horrible. It was unbearable at times. And I found myself in some of the darkest moments of my life just wishing that I was living their life, wishing that I wasn't going through this much pain, wishing that I didn't have a childhood like this, or, you know, I just, wanted to change my life so badly and now looking back <laughs> years and years down the line being the person that I am and having witnessed everything that I've gone through would I want to live their life would I want to walk on their shoes would I want to walk in anyone else's shoes other than my own and the answer is no everything that I've experienced in my life has made me the person that I am it's prepared me to be this individual who's able to deal with things on her own accord. Every single personality facet that I have has come from all the individual tiny mini school experiences that I had as a child. And would I want to change myself? I wouldn't. I would not want to change who I am today. I wouldn't want to change my experiences. I wouldn't want to change any of the lesson and the growth. And often I find myself like these days <clears throat> when people look at me or whatever, they think, oh my God, look, she's doing so, so well um, in terms of her writing and so on. And they probably think, oh, I wish, I wish, you know, I was in her shoes. I wish that I was able to uh, write books or create this um, Instagram platform following or whatever. And they don't know what it took 
to get here. They don't know the amount of sacrifices that I had to make. They don't know what I faced to be able to write um, today. And the only thing that I would ask them is, would you want to live through the pain that I'd gone through? Would you want to live through all the suffering, all the, you know, horrible experiences? If not, then you don't deserve my happiness either. And that's exactly what I say to every single person who says, I wish I had their life. Yes, but you wish you had their good times. You don't wish you had their bad times. You don't know what they went through to get that happiness. You don't know what they went through to get to that point of, you know, feeling so comfortable and at ease and just, you know, enjoying life. If you don't know where their dark parts are and what their dark parts are, if you don't want to live through those dark parts, then you shouldn't want their happiness either. And of course, like, you know, as we always say that social media is such a facade, we always show off all the bright places, all the bright parts of our lives. We show our good days, but we don't show our bads and that uh, bad. And that's something that I often say that we should be a lot more vulnerable about. We should definitely share the bad days a lot more. We should tell people when we're having a bad day. We shouldn't shy away from it because that's the kind of standard that it leads for every single person they all think that they need to show just their happiness and not their sadness and that's why we all want to be each other when really we are the best versions of ourselves so then this particular piece that i wrote i finished it off after i came to the realization that i'm sharing with you today and i said but now after years of healing i can say that i've accepted that people will be in different stages of their lives at the same time that stage in my life was one of growth it demanded so much from me that I wouldn't be who I am to, without it. But maybe the stage they were on was one of love and joy. And as much as I questioned why they were so happy while I was suffering, would I have said the same if I was happy and they were in pain? Would I want to be in their shoes when they went through the hardest moments in their life? If not, then why did I want to be in their shoes when they were in their happiest? And this truth changed my life. Understanding that journeys towards happiness are filled with thorns of pain and heartache that people tread on for years before they reach a place of light and learning that if you aren't willing to travel those difficult journeys instead of them then you can't compare your dark moments to their brightest because one day you will be in the happiest part of your life and others might compare their journeys to yours but they won't know how many thorns it took to get there. As I said, people don't know the thorns that you have to step on, the hurdles that you have to cross and all the challenges that you have to face to get to your happiness. And if you know what the meaning of your happiness is and what it just what it took to get to that place of happiness, then you need to look at other people's happiness in the same way, you know, with a pinch of salt. Just know that all of us are in different stages in our journeys, different stages in our lives where some of us are healing and some of us are happy and some of us are in love and some of us are, are heartbroken. But at one point, every single one of us is going to be in the other person's stage, but it won't be at the same time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you got something meaningful out of it. I really, really want to press and urge that don't compare your life to other people. Don't compare your, your pain to other people's happiness. We all receive our share of happiness one day. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Please share and I will see you all next week. We all receive our end of pain one day.